Okay. Okay, let's have a look on this question. Okay, this is the SBM MX paper. Uh, it's the second paper, paper two. And then this is question number eight. I think this is the differentiation chapter. Okay, let's have a look on this question together. Okay, he said the curve y equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x uh, plus 1 pass through the point A, 2, 3 and 2 turning point. Okay, and then he, another 2 turning point which is P and Q. Okay, P and Q is the 2 turning point. So the key words here will be turning point. So we know in differentiation chapter, turning point means what? Okay, what is the meaning by turning point? Turning point will mean dy dx will equal to zero. So when you see turning point, first thing come into your mind should be dy dx will equal to zero. This is the meaning by turning point. Okay, and then yes, so p and q is a two turning point. Okay, so first, what he asked us to find first. He asked us to find the gradient of the curve at A. Meaning he wants to find gradient. What is the meaning gradient in differentiation chapter? Which is dy dx will mean gradient. So this one will mean gradient. Okay, so now he wants to find gradient at A. Means the gradient at A. A is 2, 3. So first thing, we write down the equation. Y equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1. So we differentiate this one, we can get the gradient of the curve. Okay, so we differentiate this one, we have got this one move in front and then minus 1. 3 move in front, we got 3x. Minus 1, we got 2. Okay, 2 move in front, will be 2 multiple 6, will be 12x. Minus 1, left 1, plus 9. Okay, okay this is the gradient of the curve. Okay, but then the curve, you got so many coordinates in a curve. Okay, so let's say this is a curve. So let's say A is here. So you want to find out the A. The coordinate A here, you got a coordinate 2, 3. So when, when we in a dy dx, we want to find the gradient at A, we can only substitute the x value, which is 2 here. So when x equal to 2, which is the x coordinate in, uh, which is the A coordinate, which is the x value of A coordinate 2. So dy dx will equal to 3, 2 square minus 12 2 plus 9 so 3 2 square will be 3 multiple 4 will be 12 12 multiple 24 we got negative 12 negative 12 plus 9 we got negative 3 that means the gradient of the curve at a will be negative 3 that's therefore uh, that's all for part a Okay, mean you got the gradient, you just differentiate the gradient, and then he said at A means you just substitute the A coordinate into it. You just substitute A coordinate into it, then then you solve it, you can get you can get negative three. Okay? You just differentiate and then substitute two because A coordinate is two, so substitute x equal to two into it, then you can get negative three. Okay, then we go to the second question. Part B. What he wants? He wants the equation of the normal to the curve at A. Okay, equation of the normal means what? Means, okay, if the curve is like this, then, okay, this is when, okay, this is the tangent line. Means he will touch A at one point. Okay, normal means actually, okay, this, this line we call it tangent line. We call this one tangent line. Normal means he, he will cut through tangent line and form a 90 degree here. This is what we so call normal line. So we want to find, find what? The equation of the normal to the curve. So me, you want to find this equation. So in order to find this equation, the equation, first thing is we need to know the gradient of this straight line. Okay, so we got the gradient for tangent will be negative three. So in order to get this gradient, we can use m1 multiple m2 equal, will equal to negative 1. Therefore, we got negative 3. So negative 3 multiple m2 will equal to negative 1. Therefore, 
the gradient for normal will be 1 over 3. Okay, then after we got this gradient already, how to find equation? You just substitute one coordinate on, to, on, on this straight line. So we got the coordinate of course, which is coordinate A. Because this straight line will pass through coordinate A. So we substitute 2, 3 into this uh, into the equation. So, so we just use the normal formula. Y minus Y1 will equal to M X minus X1. So we just apply this formula into it. So we got 2, 3. So Y minus 3 will equal to 1 over 3. X minus 2. Okay, 3 and 2 is from the coordinate A. M is a gradient. Okay, then you just move the 3 over there. And then 3 over there. So this one is called 1 over 3x minus 2 over 3 plus 3. Okay, plus 3. Because negative 3 move here, it becomes plus 3. We change the denominator, become the same. So plus 9 over 3. This one you simplify, you still get positive 3. Because I want to easily plus and minus. Therefore, the equation is y equal to 1 over 3x plus 7 over 3. Just use negative 2 over 3 plus 9 over 3. Then you can got this is the answer for B. Okay. And then we go to the last part, which is part D. Okay. What is part D here? Okay. The coordinates of Q and okay, I ask you to find the coordinate of Q and determine whether Q is the maximum or minimum point. So this one is very simple. Okay, in order to find the coordinate of Q, you know P and Q is a turning point. Means P and Q both also have the gradient will equal to zero. Okay, therefore, okay, at turning point we know dy dx will equal to zero. Therefore, three x square minus twelve x plus nine will equal to zero. Okay, and then and then what we can do is, okay, we have to solve. Because this is the dy dx, right? this is the gradient. Gradient will equal to 0 when at p and q. So we need to find the x value first. So And then we have to solve this uh, quadratic equation. So I just divide everything by 3. So x squared minus 4x plus 3 will equal to 0. And then I factorize. I will got x, x, this one I will got 3, 1, negative, negative. So x will equal to 1 or x will equal to 3. Okay. So this one you just x minus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0 then you got x equal to 1 or x will equal to 3. After that, okay, you already got the 3 because the coordinate p is 3, 1. Meaning you substitute x into the 3 into the y equation, into this equation you will got, you will got 1 for y. So this one is exclude. Okay, this one is not what we want to find. This is what we want to find when x equal to 1. Okay, so we just substitute when x equal to 1 into this equation, y equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1. Substitute this one into the equation. Okay, then you can get y coordinate. So x will equal to, okay, this is 1 cubed minus 6, 1 plus 9, 1 plus 1. So y will equal to, this is 1 minus 6, we got negative 5, negative 5 plus 9. Negative 5 plus 9, we've got 4. 4 plus 1, we've got 5. So therefore, coordinate for Q will be 1 and 5. Okay, and then he asks you to determine whether it is maximum or minimum. So how to determine? Determine is very simple. Differentiate one more time. This is dy dx. Differentiate one more time. d2y dx squared. We will got 6x. Okay, this is dy dx. Move the 2 in front. And then you have 2 multiple 3, you got 6x minus 12. Okay, at q, so we substitute the x value of q into the x. So when x equal to 1, you have got 6 minus 12. You got negative 6. Okay, negative 6 means smaller than 0. So when d2y dx squared is smaller than 0, this is the maximum point. This is the maximum point. Okay, mean actually this curve, it, it will look something like this. He got the maximum and he got the minimum. 
Okay, we got two coordinate. P is the minimum. Uh. If this is maximum, P maybe is the minimum. This is P31. So, so Q will be here. So Q is 1, 5. So Q is the maximum coordinate. That's all for question number 8. Okay, later I will post the question number 9. Thanks for watching.